guys, Evelyn here on Erratic Exclusion Channel. I'm sure you guys how I did this simple text effect in Sony Bigots Pro. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete these two tracks. And I'm just going to make a new video track and have it above our image. And of course I'm using Momo from Twice. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab our uh, legacy text. And just going to grab simple default text. I'm just going to pop it there and we're going to type in her name. And I want capital letters, so like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight it, click the eye, tap it slanted. We're gonna go to properties, we're gonna make it the tracking a little bit far apart, and then we're gonna drag the scaling down just a smidge. We're gonna go to placement and we're gonna wanna drag it over here, like so. And you can leave and I suggest for this effect to leave it in the brights or white color category um, for your um, your text. I'm going to leave it on, this one on white and we're just going to go ahead and sit, click this here composing mode to dodge. Once that's done it, you can see it doesn't really look like it did anything. You want to drag the opacity by clicking the top of your um, text um, effect here and you just want to drag it down to you get this it shows up. We're going to right click and add insert another video option and we're going to drag in another text effect and we're just going to do the same thing Momo we're going to select it as well properties we're going to change it to maybe a brighter color so we're going to do a blue we're going to move it above or under we'll do under this this time we're going to make the scaling down and we're going to track it more so, like so, and I'm just gonna move the placing a bit more, like so. And then we're going to just again on this layer, we're going to change it to dodge again, and as you can see, it shows up more vibrant with different colors. And I'm just going to go ahead and just scale it down a little bit more, and maybe choose a different color. And you can just, as long as they're in the the brighter font category it'll show up better if it's black it's not going to show up it's just going to disappear so I suggest just staying in the bright um, font category as you can see if I scale it up bigger you can see how much of a difference it makes with the font wise like so so I hope you guys like this tutorial. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to have more for you soon. And if you guys want to request a tutorial, just leave a comment in the comment box below. And I'll do my best to get those out for you guys. Bye, guys.